Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League 2 Predictions. Um, before we get started, this video is sponsored by LOL T-Shirt Company. They sell my merch, the link for my merch is down in the description below, so go feel free to have a look after watching this video. Um, there's one game not happening this weekend, Northampton Town Town in the FA Cup. Um, so there's only 11 fixtures, but considering you asked me to um, do it for the last um, round of fixtures when the FA Cup was played, I'm going to do it for this one as well, and my league one will be coming up tomorrow. Um, but anyway guys, you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Carlisle versus Walsall. Um, Carlisle drawing on one away to Oldham. Um, summing that up in a um, Carlisle point of view, you know, probably a fair point considering how close they are on the table. Um, Walsall losing, uh, sorry, winning 2 1 at home to Crawley. Um, Crawley aren't 1 0 up in that game as well. Um, I feel a bit, you know, disheartened for Crawley there. Um, that would have been a great three points for Crawley as well. Um, just thought Jerry could have come away with them. Um, looking for this game, we've got Carl Arwin 21st. Uh, 26 points, one went out of the last five. you got Walsall sitting in 12th. Um, with three wins out of the last five. Um, with 36 points. So going forward with this game, I'm going to go for a nice, easy Walsall win, and I'm going to go with a 2-0 Walsall win. My next one is Crawley versus Grimsby. Uh, just as you mentioned, Crawley losing 2-1 away to Walsall. Um, as I said, I'm a bit disheartened for Crawley there. Grimsby losing 1-0 at home to Exeter. Um, that's a bit of a different story for me. Um, obviously, I've said it once already, Maybe twice, I've lost count, but you're the real fans. Tell me how you feel down in the comments below. Um, this game in particular, um, I think it's got to be quite an interesting game. You've got Grimsby in 17, you've got Crawley in 15. A match table position, a uh, changing game if it goes ahead for Grimsby. But considering it's Crawley, I'm going to stick up for Crawley and I'm going to give Crawley a 1-0 win. My next one is Exeter versus Colchester. Colchester beating Macclesfield 2-1 two, uh, two at home. Yeah, I got that one right. Um, Exeter beating Grimsby Town 1-0 away from home. This game is a very much top of the table clash. Um, as the states of Colchester in 8th, um, just out of the player places by goal difference. Um, Exeter sitting in second. Um, yeah, again, my goal difference while they're not top. Um, going forward with this game, I think it's going to be quite an interesting one. But I'm going to go for a 2 1 Exeter City win. My next one is Lake Norian versus Newport County. Um, Late Norian losing 1 0 at away to Port Vale. Newport County beat Swindon Town 2 0 at home. Great three points for Newport there. Um, at this point, day for Late Norian again. But, you know, we're still five points clear of the drop as it stands. Um, go, go look at this game. Uh, Late Norian ain't won in the last five. Newport. One two in the last five. I won two bats back, which one I'm gonna go for a three one Newport County win. My next one is Macclesfield versus Forest Green. Um, Forest Green losing two one at home to Salford City. Uh, Macclesfield losing two one away from home to uh, Colchester. Um, Great three points for Salford. Um, I weren't expecting it. Fair play to Salford for doing that. Um, I've said it once, you know, I've said it quite a few times. Um, we all know who owns Salford City, but the players have still got to go and play the football, so fair play to Salford. Um, Macclesfield, you know, their troubles 
EFL pulling out different directions. Um, and I know there's another club in trouble as well, South End in League One. Um, but us, the EFL needs to seriously sort something out here. Uh, we can't keep going like this. Um, I've said it. You know, I've said it quite a few times. If it weren't for the fans, there'd be no football clubs. There weren't no football clubs. There'd be no EFL. The EFL need to stop, basically, and think right. We need the fans, we need the football, we need the money, which was all down to. But they got to come out with a financial way of doing it, if you know what I mean. Um, otherwise, this tr this uh, is just going to keep deteriorating. Um, let's go over to the table. Macclesfield in 22nd, with a 1 out of that last 5. Forest Green in 9th, with a 2 out of that last 5. But I'm going to go for a bit of a shock, and I'm going to go for a 1 all scoreline for that one. My next one is Mansfield versus Bradford. Um, Bradford joined with Scunthorpe 2 2 at home. Um, very much, oh, you know, a good point for Bradford considering how well Scunthorpe have been doing. Um, Mansfield losing 3 1 away from home to Plymouth Argyle. You know, with the likes of, um, you know, going to Plymouth probably. Oh, it wouldn't be too damn hard if I was a Mansfield fan. Um, Mansfield win one of their last five. Um, Bradford win two of their last five, but they have not won um, in the past few weeks. Uh, no, Mansfield, no. But considering on the confidence side of things, I'm going to go for a 2 0 Bradford win. My next one. Is Morecambe versus Cambridge? Um, Cambridge losing 4 0 at home to Stevenage. Disappointing day there for Cambridge. Um, you know, let's not beat around the bush with that. Um, Morecambe losing 4 1 away from home to Northampton Town. Um, let's go more on that Cambridge result. Disappointing day. Um, I, I watch scores on Saturdays and you know whenever I can. And I'm sitting there, I'm like Cambridge beat, getting beaten four 0 Fair play to Stevenage, by the way. Um, this game, I think it's gonna be quite an interesting one. I'm gonna go for a draw, and I'm gonna go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Salford City versus Oldham. Oldham drawing one-one. At home to Carlisle, um, Salford beating Forest Green two one away from home. As I said, fair play to Salford. Um, very much of a result I weren't expecting, um, but uh, you know I've said it quite a few times already. But I'll say it once again, fair play to Salford. I'm going to get an older athletic team that have not won in their last five. Um, Salford have only won two out of the last five. Uh, which way do I call this one? I'm gonna call it a draw and I'm gonna go for a 2 2 scoreline for that one. My next one is Scunthorpe versus Crew Alexander. Um, Scunthorpe drawing 2 2 away to Bradford and very much a good point there for Scunthorpe as well. Um, overall, um, Crew beating Chatham 1 0 at home. Um, Crew winning throughout the last five, you know, with the likes of Crew doing that and then Scunthorpe winning one of the last five. I can only call this one way and I'm going to go for a 3 1 Crew win. My next one is Stevenage versus Plymouth Argyle. Um, Plymouth Argyle beating Mansfield 3 1 at home. Um, Stevenage beating Cambridge 4 0 away from home. This result could really change it around for Stevenage, that result from the previous weekend. Um, you know, going up against a very good Plymouth Argyle side. Um, Plymouth currently in fourth, Stevenage currently bottom. Um, that's the first Stevenage win in five games. Uh, Plymouth have won three on the bounce, so I'm going to take 
Plymouth to win another one. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 Plymouth win. My last one for this weekend is Swindon Town versus Port Vale. Um, Port Vale beating Lake Norman 1-0 at home. Um, great three points for uh, Port Vale, but nothing more expected. Um, Swindon Town beat got beat. 2-0 away from home against Newport County. This point day for Swindon. Um, as I said, that's a great three points for Port Vale. I know Port Vale are currently sitting in 10th, but you look at games in any league and there's always a chance that an underdog could beat, you know, the odds. And if you think of, you know, that Stevenish result against Newport, it can happen. Um... But Port Vale won three in the last five. Um, Swindon only won two in the last five. But I'm going to go for a one nil Port Vale win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give it a like. big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.